Today we're going to talk about something really cool, a material called niobium phosphide, NP for short. You might not have heard of it before, but it's poised to really shake up the world of electronics, especially when it comes to making really, really thin wires. Like, imagine the thinnest wire possible, thinner than a human hair. That's the scale we're talking about. And you know what? Turns out our old pal copper, you know, the metal we use for like practically all things electrical. Yeah, copper starts to get a little weird at these super tiny sizes. Once you get below a certain point, its conductivity actually goes down. It becomes less efficient. Not ideal when you're trying to build super advanced electronics, right? So that's where MP comes in. Something called a topological semi-metal. Now, I know that sounds kind of complicated. But the main thing to remember is that NP's surface is much more conductive than its inside. And here's the really wild part. As you make MP thinner and thinner, its conductivity actually goes up. If the inside of the hose is rough, the water flow is going to be disrupted. But if you have a super smooth hose, the water is going to flow much more easily. That's kind of what's going on with NP. Its surface is so smooth, electronically speaking. So electrons can just zoom through it with almost no resistance. And this is a big deal because NP can actually outperform copper in these super thin films. Like we're talking thinner than five nanometers. And even at room temperature, that could be a game changer for how we design and build electronics. Imagine devices that run cooler, more powerful devices, devices that use way less energy. Pretty amazing, right? And it gets even more interesting when we look at how NP is actually made. Unlike some of those other high-tech materials, you know, the ones that need like perfectly ordered crystals and super precise manufacturing, NP is actually pretty easy to make. You don't need those pristine conditions and you can actually make it at relatively low temperatures, which is great news if you're thinking about integrating it into like our existing silicon chip manufacturing. So that's a big plus. But to really understand why this discovery is so groundbreaking, we kind of need to dive a little deeper into the world of these topological semi-metals. Because these materials aren't your typical conductors. They have this unique electronic structure, sometimes called a band structure. And it makes their surfaces act totally different from their interiors. It's almost like you have a metal that's a conductor and an insulator at the same time. Kind of a mind-bending concept. But here's what's really cool. This special band structure makes topological semi-metals incredibly tough. So even if you introduce impurities or defects into the material, it's not a big deal. The surface conductivity stays pretty much the same. And that's a huge advantage when you're working with things at the nanoscale. Because even the tiniest imperfections can really mess things up at that size. So think about it. We have this material that's more conductive than copper at these incredibly small sizes. It's easy to make. And it's really resilient to defects. It sounds almost too good to be true, right? Well, like with any new discovery, there are always challenges. Researchers are still working on figuring out how to turn these thin NP films into actual wires, the kind you can actually use in devices. And they're experimenting with ways to kind of fine-tune NP's properties, maybe tweaking its composition a bit or even looking for other topological semi-metals the ones that might be even better than MP. But even with all those challenges, the potential of this material is huge. It's like we've stumbled upon this treasure chest of possibilities, all these possibilities for the future of electronics. Just imagine, smartphones that never overheat, laptops that last for days on a single charge, data centers that use way less energy. These are just some of the things that MP could help us achieve. It's almost like we've been playing this electronics game on easy mode for like forever, just relying on the same old materials. But with MP, it feels like we've suddenly leveled up unlocked all these new possibilities. And you know what's really exciting? This is really just the beginning. I mean, who knows what other incredible materials are out there just waiting to be discovered. As researchers keep digging deeper into these topological semi-metals, I bet they're going to find even more mind-blowing stuff. Materials with properties we can't even imagine yet. And those discoveries, those could completely change how we think about electronics. Maybe even revolutionize tons of other fields too. So yeah, next time you're using your phone or your laptop or whatever, Take a second to think about all the amazing science and engineering that made that device possible. And hey, maybe someday soon you'll be holding a gadget powered by niobium phosphide. This material that right now is still kind of new, but it might just change the world. Anyway, that's it for this deep dive. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, keep exploring.